Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. I realized that I never filmed an intro for this video because it was like a spur of the moment kind of thing. Um, we've been wanting to try Armadillo for a long time. I know myself personally, I've always kind of wanted to give it a shot. And this was the perfect opportunity. We were actually going to hunt that evening. We were headed out <clears throat> and there was like a couple of Armadillos in the road. So we decided that we'd break out the old 17 HMR, which is one of my favorite calibers whenever I am I'm actually rifle hunting as far as like a, a varmint round goes. Um, one of my favorites, popped it with the 17. I'm not gonna give a whole lot of detail. I'm not gonna give up too much here, but um, it was super cool. I was very, uh, very surprised. And I know that there's a lot of people that hunt and shoot armadillos just for the fun of it. I'm guilty of it. Um, well, actually, I don't do it just for the fun of it. Um, we shoot them to because they get in our yards and they're looking for grubs and things like that and they tear up the yard and then it sucks whenever you go to mow your yard so um, I'll harvest them and I've always wanted to know what one tasted like because honestly like 99% of the time when I shoot an armadillo here in the yard the one that's been tearing the yard up um, I'll just toss it off in the brush I mean I don't I've always heard they have Lyme disease that they carry Lyme disease and so if you guys decide to try something like this I would advise you to you know just be aware and be careful um, <clears throat> or not Lyme disease leprosy I'm sorry <laughs> they carry leprosy and so I think the statistic that I read was like 60% of them carry leprosy so um, whenever you're doing the cleaning process or whenever you're moving them or whatever you're doing with them um, probably throw some rubber gloves on or something just to be safe you never know I don't think that there's a cure for leprosy and I could be wrong but anyway um, honestly um, I just want to throw my opinion in here. I was amazed. It was very good. And as it's further explained in the video, we'll talk about what the consistency of the meat is and um, the tenderness and all that kind of stuff. We'll catch that towards the end of the video. But super cool. Very fun. Um, we were hunting at the Real McCoy Ranch. And if you guys want to do that, all the information will be linked down in the description below. I, I really um, encourage you guys to come and do that. I will be there. I will come personally guide you. I will come film with you. Um, we'll have a great time and camp, get to know each other. New lodging is going up um, as of right now. And so um, I really uh, hope to see some of you guys down there um, this spring even. And even this fall as we kick off a new deer season, which is a little bit far away. <laughs> I don't want to wait. But anyway... Um, I got some good hog hunting action coming up for you guys um, after this video. Sorry, I've been a little bit late or slower on the videos the last couple of weeks. I've had a, a couple of busy week, a couple of busy weekends and weeks at work, and also took a little time off for some vacation. So glad to be back, and I'm ready to be pumping out the video for, videos for you guys. Enjoy this one. This one's going to be fun and very interesting. I don't think he's gonna leave anymore. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Let me shoot him again. Nah. You know, there was a dinosaur that looked just like him. Really? That, uh, right here on the head, it had like a shield. I think I've seen him before. I don't even know what yeah. you're talking about. That's, that's where these come from, supposedly. Uh, yeah. Start the skinning process for Jerry's. I'm just holding, I'm helping out. Um, but basically all you do is you skin it just like a normal animal, like white tail or hog or anything, and then work that shell, as you can see right here, you're just taking this knife and basically working the meat up and out. You can see the shell starting to peel away. Take the legs off. It's pretty easy. <coughs> it is just a little miniature pig. Oh, it is. Look at it. <laughs> oh, it looks like just a little pig. Yeah. Got lots of fat on them. A lot of fat. Meat. Real white meat. Looks like pork. Looks just like pork. Now once you get that shell, you smell it, it'll smell like absolutely nothing. Mm. Yeah. It actually don't look half bad. <gasps> no, the bacon. not me. That's the bacon right here. He put oh, the bacon yeah, that's on. what I was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still worth it. Still doesn't look yeah, half bad. bad. It's not bad, I guarantee you. It might be a little what? There's a squirrel. This piece of squirrel right here. It sure smells good, I tell you that but much. That's a squirrel leg. Okay. That's There's some well, squirrel hair. Well. Right here. They're probably it's tougher now. Oh, no, no, no. That's really. actually fairly tender. It's got yeah. smell too. Right, right there. Taste All right. <laughs> These are a little more cooking, but you see how white it turns? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's it's just super like. Meat. Yeah, look at it. It's like pork. A little tough, but what does it taste like? 
on them. It's tough because they need to work cooking. Eat that or starve. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm saying. There ain't nothing wrong with that. That's good. I never thought an armadillo would taste like that. It just needs a little more cooking. <laughs> You know, yeah, it's but softer. Then but what, the taste is, it's got a good it taste. It tastes so much like pork. That's unbelievable. That's unreal. Shit, like no. all, all we did is threw some bacon Ew. in there. We threw some bacon in there and with the foil. And then, oh, uh, do you think he added any water into the foil or is it just? Yeah, yes, I told him put uh, water, a little bacon. He seasoned it with the uh, grill mates. Okay. And then he put they onions on it. And he wrapped it up in foil. And, and just squirrel. set it on the pit. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's been, it's that was incredible. They like chicken, that's mm -hmm. chicken. But it ha well, it has a different taste. Yeah. Not quite like chicken, but it's just white <laughs> as chicken. I guarantee yeah. that. And from that other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, golly, that, that, no! there ain't nothing wrong with that, is it? Oh, <laughs> a squirrel, man, I mean, that, that's like, really? What do you think? Squirrel's better. Squirrel's better? You think so? Squirrel's better. I think better. the armadillo was a success. Now I can say I've had it and tried it once before. Um, really not bad. I think you could probably, like, disguise that as something else and trick some people, and they would have no clue. That I mean, it almost—it's got like the the consistency or the look of chicken, but it's got like the taste of pork, kind of. It was that was good. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate all of you guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and maybe even uh, go try some armadillo one day. <laughs> maybe y'all y'all will have some different recipes. If you do, put them down in the description below. We may end up doing a, another one some other time. But with all that being said, I'll catch you guys here in a couple of days.